What's up Slick Review fans, coming at you with another video. Today we're going to check out a nice inexpensive hands-free kit for your car. We do a lot of tech reviews and advice, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's get started. Alright guys, so let's jump right into it. So taking a quick look at the box, pretty basic retail packaging. There's a couple things there on the side if you want to check that out but it comes with the car kit, of course. 360 degree rotation on the cradle that it comes with and compatibility should fit most modern smartphones out there. So we open it up and right away up top, we have the device right here. So we'll set that off to the side for a second, get some of this packaging out of here. And then down in the box, we have the cradle that it comes with as well as a couple other little gizmos. So we'll get all that out. Instructions, we don't need those. So let's set all that off to the side. Now here's the cradle that it comes with. It's your pretty basic suction cup type deal. But then it also comes with this vent clip if you want to use that instead. And then there's a cable to charge it up. Looks like we've got micro USB, another one for the collection. And here's an adapter for the car if you'd like to keep it charged all the time. You can do that. Now according to the specifications, it has a 12 hour talk time and and 300 hour standby time on the 300 milliamp battery that's in there. And it takes about one to two hours to get it charged up. So like I said, if you'd like to, you can just use this stuff here and keep it charged up all the time. There's your micro USB charging port at the bottom, but you don't necessarily have to. Now right here, we have a nice silicone pad to hold your phone. Pretty basic sizing right there. Just pull it apart, put your phone in there, and it'll definitely hold all modern smartphones. That's plenty large enough for that. Right here we have volume up, here's a multi-function button, volume down. You got a small hole for your microphone right here. Again, charging port at the bottom. Here's your ring to put whichever holder you're going to use. And then of course, the speaker right there. So let's get it paired up, should be a pretty easy process. Just hold the power on button. Power on. Nice voice feedback. Connected. And then it connects right away automatically. So let's test out the functions here. This is the multi-function button, so let's see what happens when we just press that. Okay, so interestingly enough, that seems to serve as play and pause for the music app on your phone, but it's playing out of the speaker on the phone, not out of this speaker, so I don't really know what good that is. Now on the music, the volume does not seem to do anything. So like I said, I don't see much of a use for that, but the functionality is there. So let's try to get Siri to work. Let's do a long press and see what happens. So there it goes. Now there seems to be a lag. Siri, what will the weather be like in Edinburgh tonight? And now it's processing. It's currently clear and 41 degrees in Edinburgh, Scotland. Expect partly cloudy skies yeah, okay. later tonight. So, like I said, there was a little bit of a lag there, which I have noticed with just some sort of Bluetooth speakers in general. That seems to be a thing with Apple. I don't know if I can knock this for it. Let's just try it one more time. What will the weather be like in London tonight? So, again, there's that lag in the processing, and it's still listening. Currently partly cloudy and 48 degrees in London, England. So, like I said, guys, Siri is not completely flawless with this device. And like I said, I think I have to knock just the Bluetooth connection in iOS for that. I have had issues with that on other Bluetooth speakers. So don't really knock this for that. So if you are in the car, if you need to ask Siri something, like I said, you should keep that to a minimum anyway when you're driving. But just know you might still have to tap the screen to get her to do what you want. But I'm sitting about two feet away from the device. It was still able to hear me clearly. All of the words showed up on the screen. And the volume was very sufficient. So you should be able to make phone calls on this without a problem. So again, just taking a look at the kit that you get here. So you do have a vent clip. You can put that on your vent. And then you are able to turn this in either orientation that you like. And then you do have a suction cup mount if that's what you'd rather use instead. You can put that anywhere you like as well. So for only 24 bucks, I think this is a pretty good buy. I can't really find anything to knock it for.
So as we saw guys, this does work perfectly, especially for the price point. I can't find anything to knock it for. I think this is a great option if your car does not have Bluetooth built in. This is great, it holds your phone for you. Nice speakerphone functionality, keep your hands on the steering wheel. So like I said, for 24 bucks, I think this is a great buy. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think this is a good pickup? Let me know. If you have any other questions or anything, please do leave them down below. I try to get to every single one. Find me on social media so you can stay in touch, but most importantly guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. That's all I've got for you this time, guys. Slick Reviews, out.